Migration. Migration is another strategy used by a variety of animals here at the Nature Center. Migration is the movement from one location to another uh, as the seasons change. So in the fall, we know that summer is coming to an end. Fall is a time of transition before winter arrives. So many of the birds who are here at the Nature Center for the summer will not stay here for the winter time. And so it is at this time of the year when they are migrating. They are going to leave the Nature Center and they are headed south, somewhere south, to a warmer climate where the food that they prefer will be available to them throughout the winter. So in the summertime, we will see somewhere around 80, maybe a few more than 80 species of birds. Um, many of them actually live right here in our forests and on the edges of our forests and in our little fields and, and, and meadows here at the Nature Center. But as summer comes to a close, fall is a time to fuel up, put themselves in the best condition possible, and then they will start their migration. So it's important for birds to migrate during the fall so that they have food and decent weather available to them during the course of their migration. Many of them are going to migrate quite a long ways. Some will go to the southern United States. That seems to be a popular place for things like um, some of our goldfinches and American robins for sure. And then other birds will go um, to Central America and the Caribbean islands, which is definitely a, a ways longer than the southern United States. And then there are even others that go further. Many of our vireos and warblers will travel all the way through Central America and they will not stop until they reach the South American continent. So with such a long journey ahead of them, it's important that they generally get a, an early start before the weather gets really bad. Now, before they migrate, it's important that they fuel up and prepare themselves properly. The Nature Center is a great spot for migrating birds because we have a lot of food available here. We have plenty of insects to eat, and there are plenty of high quality foods like small seeds and fruits in our forest right now as well. And so resident birds who haven't left yet and migrants that have come from uh, areas farther north are going to stop here, fuel up, and then continue on their journey. So it's an important um, stopover habitat for a lot of migrating birds. Now migration is dangerous. It takes a long time to get where they're going. They need a lot of luck and they have to avoid many different pitfalls and perils along the way. So not every bird that leaves our forest um, this fall unfortunately will make it back here to Ohio in the spring. It's just something that happens. Um, taking such a long trip um, puts these animals in quite a bit of danger, but it is the way that they survive the winter. They can't stay here. They won't find the food that they need and the resources that they need in order to survive. So they ha really have no choice. This is the way um, that they uh, have lived their lives and their ancestors have, and so it's important that they continue on in their migration just as their parents and grandparents have done before them. Now birds aren't the only ones that migrate. There are some other animals that migrate and probably maybe the most famous migrating animal is the monarch butterfly. Monarchs are uh, a butterfly which is a type of insect and most people don't really think about insects migrating when when you talk about migration it's always birds first but yeah monarchs are a very famous migrator. And so monarch butterflies are leaving our, our area now in the fall. They are um, the adults that are, that are emerging from uh, the, their chrysalis um, are going to head south. And so they have a long journey ahead of them as well. So monarch butterflies seem to all congregate, at least the ones from our part of the world, congregate in just a few areas in the mountains of Mexico. And so that's where the large majority of monarch butterflies are headed for the winter time. And next year, when we see monarch butterflies, it won't be the same ones that are leaving here now. It'll be the offspring of uh, the butterflies we see right now, which is really interesting. One more group of insects that are uh, kind of famous for migrating are dragonflies. 
Um, it's not uncommon to see some small swarms and in some instances really big swarms of dragonflies and, um, and large dragonflies at that. Um, there are a few varieties of dragonflies that are um, well-known migrants and they leave their northern um, habitats and they will fly typically to the southern United States where they will eventually lay eggs and start another generation similar to the monarchs that will um, come back to Ohio next spring when the weather warms up. So a couple of uh, interesting migration uh, stories there with our birds that are migrants, our insect and fruit eating birds. They're headed out of here, headed south for the winter time. And then uh, those monarch butterflies and a few varieties of dragonflies. So migration is pretty extraordinary. It's an awesome and sort of miraculous feat that these animals undertake. Um, and it's not without its pitfalls and perils, uh, but it is an important strategy uh, for many animals to survive 